What up players, it's Warbots Tay up in this mood and this video is actually to let you know that I'm starting on a project inspired by Christopher from AG Productions. This is going to be Project Dwarves or actually Project Stunties PS. And this is going to be going all throughout November. I actually got this battalion in a trade from a friend for doing some uh, doing up some Tau for him and he was like, hey, I got this box of dwarves I'm not really going to use, so I said, okay. And I know I've gotten a couple PMs about painting up some dwarves, so hopefully this will, this will be good for that. And I've decided to take this and instead of painting it like in the box, where they split up the two warrior units, and um, they've got thunderers here and a cannon, I think I'm going to try to do something a little bit different for the first thing I've, I've, I hear, but I don't know because I've never played dwarves, that, that the corollers are better, the crossbows are better for the little bit extra range, and I hear hammerers are the way to go and great weapons. So you see these two guys have hand weapon shields, so I'm going to switch those out and let me just talk to you about uh, a little bit about my, my reasoning for doing this. I was really inspired by Christopher's videos. I wish his project Wood Elves had turned out um, a little bit more successfully for him and he would gotten to finish it, but it was really great seeing his day-to-day -day struggle and accomplishments and his achievements in getting his Wood Elves Kraken and um, I was really inspired by it and it made me want to get this own my own painting challenge up. So I'm laying down the gauntlet that by the end of the month I hope to be finished with with this battalion box and um, actually even I was thinking of possibly getting these guys down to my local game store if I finish them at the end of the month and setting up a board and putting them on kind of like this display display style taking a picture and submitting it to um, mini, mini wargaming.com because they don't have uh, a picture for their dwarf battalion product so um, that, that, that's like a long-term goal of mine even though it's going to be set up a little bit differently than this it's not going to be built up like this but I'm going to keep the cannon I'm if, if I do keep these two units separate I hear hammerers are the best unit for dwarves now and I, I was reading the, the rules in the books and I I really agree and oh hello cat and just jumped up jump jumped up on the bed and I am going to try building maybe I'll try seeing if the options are available for doing half of these guys in, in don't crawl on my Warhammer stuff half of these guys in great weapon formation and the other half in uh, hammerer formation if I can figure out how to get enough two-handed weapons on these guys that look like hammers um, I don't know because I've, I've, I've I've um, forgotten what's on the sprues for these guys. So definitely great weapons for one and hammerers for the other guys. And um, yeah, maybe it's just a matter of splitting the axes, putting all the axes in one and putting all the two-handed hammers in the other. Um, okay, now I'm just thinking out loud. Or maybe I can switch the axe heads for the two-handed axes with, with hammers, hammer heads. Not the Tao kind. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. This is day one, so or I'm not actually gonna wrap up, I'm gonna do a couple of hours and assemble and see how far I get. And um, I'm gonna try to do it kind of like how Christopher had his, um, by, by keeping myself at three hours a day, about three hours a day for the hobby every night. And um, yeah, just one last thing, thanks for all of the suggestions and, and recommendations and requests for for other painting tutorials, but this is something that I've got on my plate that I've had for a while, and um, it's just kind of taking up space, so I kind of want to get it taken care of and take it, uh, see, see how far I can take it. And um, so, so this is what we'll be doing throughout the month of November. Every day I'll be doing a little bit of an update. If I do have any time to do other stuff, then I will get around to it, but for now, it's going to be trying to put together this Project Stunties Dwarf project together by the end of the month. So today is November 1st, I'm going to get a couple of hours of assembly done and I'll update you with the second half of this video with how much progress I've made on day one. 
So after an hour in, here are my empty sprues. And I'm just working on the warriors and I still got two full sprues left. Here are some sprues that I'm busy clipping. My bits box. And my cat. Look who came to join me. Look who came to help me while I'm clipping out little plastic men. Ooh, my little Oreo cat. All right, I'm gonna clip out a couple more, then I'm gonna start assembling. All right, not sure how long that was, but here are my 32 dwarf warriors. I tried to split them up so that I could have the uh, quarrelers and the thunderers bits on this side and the warrior bits on this side. And um, um, let's see, well, what did I notice? Oh yeah, I noticed that each sprue of eight, each full sprue of eight contained two banners and the uh, musician's horn. And I don't know if this was back when you could get a full unit of eight, like two ranks of four. So maybe people made like really small units of eight and that's why they, they did it. But I know that when I'm done, because I'm only gonna have two units, a lot of this plastic is gonna go to waste. Um, unless I can find some good, good way to use it. Along with the shields, which I can definitely find a good way to use it, like for my um, night goblins. Um, but, you know, that's that's the way it is, you just come to expect GW to do weird and crazy stuff like that. Like for the Grey Knights, they're, um, you know, you only get a box of five, but you get so much bits that you can end up converting other things with uh, other, other tactical marines into Grey Knights. It's too bad that there's no way to get more dwarf bodies to use these bits with, except for buying other dwarf warriors. I also noticed that there are so many double-handed axes and single-handed axes. I don't remember seeing a single double-handed hammer, which is going to be rough because that means I'm going to have to scrounge up all the hammer heads that I can get from the single weapon side, and I think each sprue of eight only came with like one or two, or two, two, I, I mean, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to do that. Maybe I've got some, some more hammer bits from the old... Uh, from my last dwarf commission, and uh, I can use that. Also here, I, I put the face masks in, in case I want to use them for the hammers, I think to distinguish them from the regular great weapon guys. It's gonna be a, a, a good thing for that. Uh, here's your extra hands for the shields, or for um, your extra arms for her. I guess that, yeah, I guess just for the shields, if you're not gonna use them for musician arms or or uh, standard arms, or for for anything else like that, because most of these dwarf torsos, when you put them together, a lot of them have the right arm or the left arm modeled onto it, like this guy, so that when you glue the double-handed weapon on, you'll notice that the double-handed weapon has the right arm and hand and the only the left hand on the bottom of the the half there so it all matches up yeah I'm just gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna replace half of these with hammer heads it's not a single double-handed hammer that's tricky GW wants you to buy all their metal ones <laughs> which I would but um yeah, I'm not really seriously considering starting a dwarf army. This is just a painting challenge, right? To challenge myself to put these guys together and build them up. So, um, I'm gonna build these guys up right now. And um, we'll finish off this video. See how much of these 32 guys I can get built in the next hour and a half. Woo! So. I'm gonna end now because I hit my three hour mark and um, the hardest part or the, the part that took the longest today was the clipping out of the sprues and glue, trying to figure out how to glue together these hammers so I'm using for the champion even though he doesn't look very 
champion-like. His musician actually looks more champion-like than he does with the flared helmet and the face mask. I figured out that with these, with the way the hands are placed over the face, there is no way to glue the face mask on without cutting and chopping every single one, which means that I'm going to have to be doing a lot of guesswork after I chop it to glue it and then the, the prototype that I had was just, it just looked horrible so I decided to just have these guys with hammers and uh, uh, that's going to differentiate them. I'll paint a big hammer or something on the banner and then I'll have axes for all of my great weapon warriors. Um, but here's my command group. I figured that I'll start with them. I'll do 16 of my warriors like this and 16 of my warriors with the axes. Instead of making one giant unit, I'll, I'll, I've decided to split them up into two. Um, and that way I'll have an even division of hammers and axes and uh, hopefully I won't run out of either. But that's, I'm, I'm going to end it here today. Uh, thanks again for to Christopher from AG Productions for inspiring me to get this started. And um, I encourage you to do something, take on a big project this month with me and uh, let's do it together, you and me. You and me, buddy, let's make it. Let's make it to the end of the month. My goal is to get my entire battalion box set painted up by the end of the month. So um, uh, challenge yourself. Find something that you uh, have a backlog of waiting, something that you bought as an impulse buy or got as an impulse buy, just like I, I traded these dwarves. I should have took cash. Um, but no, that's okay because now I'm, I'm challenging myself with these with these units and to see if I can get it done on time. And then if I can get my picture up on miniwargaming.com of the battalion, that'll be the icing on the cake. So join me, won't you? This was going to be a dwarf uh, thing for December. I was going to call it dwarf December, but since I'm doing it in November, um, I don't know. Dwarf Vember. I'm still gonna have to think of that, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, leave some comments, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow for day two of Project Stunties. No, kitty, don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs>